the 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. A radio.com station. Live, Live from the Malamut and Associates Law Studio. It's Dom time. Now, Dom Giordano. Okay, it is uh, Dom time. If you're just joining us, we have the attorney on. This takes a lot of great producing legwork here. That's what we do. Well, I don't do, but we're all in this together, Dan. So if you do all the work, just remember, we're all in this together. (laughs) Sounds like the celebrities, right, with that unfortunate phrase. That Belmar police apparently now don't want to give a citation to gym patrons in front of the media or people hanging out there. They're following them and then pulling them over and giving them a citation. That is ludicrous. That's excessive. It's bad police work and use of police sources. It definitely is. You got to man up. If you're going to hit the patrons under whatever orders, you have to do it in front of people. All right, let's go to Phil Falcone. And Phil is on on Saturdays right before me with uh, his partner talking stocks, real estate, and all that stuff. Hey, Phil, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Dom, my hero. Great to talk to you. Well, thank you, Phil. I have to give you a compliment, too. You have the most distinctive voice in those spots that you do with the schooling and the get-off-your-butt stuff and all. They're very, very well done. They jump out at you, and you know you have to do that in radio. Yeah, sure. In advertising and on the radio, you've got to be a little bit uh, different than everybody else. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm not sure what happened to the last call, but I think that Mao Se Wolf might have had something to do with it. Yeah, definitely. So what are you what are you up to, Phil, with your businesses? Well, I wanted to tell you about the show. Uh, We're on Sundays at three and Saturdays at two. So we give people two chances to listen to us. But we opened up our school, Investor Schooling in Langland, Pennsylvania. We opened it up about three weeks ago. We're open. We don't care. We're not afraid. And if Governor Wolf wants to send some of his cronies over to arrest us, we're going to video it, and we'll figure it'll be great publicity. I hear you. Now, uh, what about, though, as a prominent (laughs) – you're a prominent mainstream business guy. How would you think you would be viewed by people – you know your clientele and et cetera – if the police are forced to come in and do something? Well, first of all, I have nothing against the police. And, uh, you know, what's going on in Belmar is a little crazy. But I would, I I think it's, you know, look, crazy things happen, and that's good publicity. It makes a good YouTube video. I'm not worried about it. I'm not concerned about it. What's more important, the freedom? I mean, what they're doing right now is crazy. I have have another business in Montgomery County, uh, which is an I Buy Houses store right at the corner of. like York and Byberry, and the whole damn town of Hatboro is closed, completely closed. And and uh, the whole town is closed, and I'm opening up my business, and I've been open for three weeks, and nobody's bothering me. Nobody's well, come around to say a word to me. Well, let's hope, because you know our buddy Valerie Arcouche is there. Montgomery County, Phil. Bucks- <laughs> uh, Bucks County may reopen in some near future. Montgomery County is going to be very, very difficult. So, you know. Well, look, uh, isn't that the fun of life? See what happens. I'm not worried Absolutely. about it. Hey, uh, Phil, You're thank out you. there every day, Dom, putting, putting yourself on the line, aren't you? You're out there saying, saying things and that uh, some people view as controversial and well, look, someone else has to help you sometimes. Well, I thank you, Phil. Thanks very much, and thanks for your uh, support of the station. And, again, you'll be on at 2 on Saturday and 3 on Sunday talking about stocks, real estate. But what I like, too, is there's a lot of stream of consciousness of you two guys going back and forth about how entrepreneurs think and what you do. It's not just bottom line stuff. It's insightful. Thank you. You're welcome, Phil. Be listening this Saturday. Thank you. Thanks for calling today. See you. Bye. All right, Phil Falcone, Dan. I, that's out of the blue. You know, I've heard him before with the schooling thing and all, but uh, wow. Great side topic out of that conversation. Most distinctive voices.